Hey folks, welcome back to New Mexico Desert Classics. Um, so we're starting tonight, we're going to start a series on aftermarket and stock four lug Volkswagen and Porsche wheels. Um, if you've watched any of our previous episodes, I'm not a huge fan of four lugs, uh, but I do actually collect the wheels. So I don't care for the cars outside of the 914. I'm not a big fan of late model Beetles um, <clears throat> and Super Beetles. They're cool. They're just not my thing. I prefer uh, what would have a wide five, uh, five by two hundred five. Um, but I, I just dig collecting wheels because, as I've said before, it's a lot cheaper than uh, than collecting entire cars. So I've got a pretty robust collection. If you've watched our previous episode on rarest of rare, I got into two um, sets. In fact, they're back here. A set of superiors. Um, and a set of essence wheels uh, that I've got. So we'll uh, I'll throw a link somewhere out on for those. Um, but tonight we're going to be talking about this four lug MP Sprint Star. Okay, so as I said, we're going to take a look at this MP Sprint Star, Sprint Star tonight. It's the four lug version, not the five, obviously. One, two, three, four. Um, it does have the original cap on it, which, believe it or not, these things go for about 50 or 60 bucks a pop. I have a set right over there in the top of my toolbox. Uh, this one I decided to leave mated to the wheel because I think it's probably been on there a long time. Um, so if you've watched any of our previous episodes, um, I've mentioned a lot about the German brand Lemmers. So Lemmers made Porsche 356 wheels. They also made the sport wheels for both the four and a half inch and the five and a half inch versions for the uh, Volkswagen Beetle and then the Sports Bug and you know, the Sports Beetle from 1973. Um, and then also a different offset of the five and a half inch version for the Porsche 914. Um, Limmers has, has created, you know, they've, they've manufactured wheels for a bunch of companies over the years. Uh, during the 60s and 70s, they, they primarily were steel wheels. Um, so without any further ado, this one is their, uh, as I, here in the States, we call them uh, MP Sprint Stars. Um, <clears throat> they actually have some different names, but again, they're manufactured by Lemmers. If we flip it over, um, again, you know, these things have been reproduced uh, for years and it's kind of an, we've reached an odd uh, time in, in vintage car collecting that you can actually get there's actually a collector's market for early repop versions, right? So uh, MPBRMs were out in the in the late 60s, early 70s, and through the 80s and 90s, they were the, the wheel that everybody lusted after. Well, then they had, had a repop market um, <clears throat> reproductions, and now they're on their third generation of different reproductions. And so now there's a collector's market for the earliest of the reproductions. Well, you know what? I don't own any BRMs. But I'm not a big fan of repops of just about everything. So what you want to look for in identifying a real set of, which I do have a set of these. This is just one that I picked up from a guy named Wesley Cavalier up in Albuquerque. Shout out. Um, <clears throat> but the way you can tell a, a real one of these is, is a couple things. Now, I mentioned that they were manufactured by Lemmers, right? So here's the classic Lemmers stamp in, in a Lemmers, in a cursive script. Um, I'll throw a, a picture of that. It's got made in Western Germany stamped here, which is pretty cool. So it's got lemmers and the uh, model number stamping. It's got made in Western Germany on this spoke. Up here it has the uh, four and a half by 15 uh, stamping. And right next to it is the date code. So this one is from July of 1969. And then over here, so I keep calling these empty sprint stars, right? Um, the reason I call them MP Sprint Stars instead of Lemmers is that they were actually marketed by MP, and these ones are actually stamped MP, uh, and then it says, I believe, AOWX69. Um, so MP back in the day was, was uh, you know, the bee's knees, as would have been said back then, I'm sure, um, for aftermarket Volkswagen parts. So these were produced uh, in West Germany by Lemmers and then marketed and sold by uh, MP. So this one has actually been refinished. You can see them in a, in a variety of, of fashions. You'll see them full chromed. You'll see them chromed with detailed inserts. This one, I'm not sure how it came from the factory. 
Um, it's obviously been sprayed at some point. It's got kind of a, a, a rough detail job, um, but I just love the fact that it's, you know, it's a July of 69 wheel. So this was, Volkswagen only went to the four lug in uh, 1968. So this was a, this is an early version of the four lug MP Sprint Star. Um, <clears throat> so again, you know, it's from July of 69. It's got the original cap on it, which is pretty cool. And another cool thing about this, this is a uh, six by 15 L um, <clears throat> benchmark tire made by Kelly Springfield. And if I flip it over, the date code on this tire actually is either from, just based on, on deciphering the DOT code here, it's 029, right? So all the research that I've ever done on, on pre-2000 tire stampings is that the first two digits are going to be the month, and then the last digit's going to be the year. So this last, in 029, it's going to be a 69, 79, possibly 89, but not as a 4 pi, um, and not as a 6 by blah, blah, blah. So I'm thinking this is either a 1969 or 1979 tire. So even though I've got a set of these, and I, like I said, I don't own anything other than 914s um, that this would fit on, and quite honestly, personally, these look like rubbish on a 914. This is a Beetle tire, or a Beetle wheel. So uh, I think this is probably a 1969 or 1979 tire, and I just think it's cool. So it's going to stay in my collection exactly that way. All right, so that's it for, for tonight. That's it for this wheel. Um, next week, we'll be getting into a Dan Gurney uh, style wheel. I have to go pull one off of a 914. Um, so <clears throat> join us again next week. Again, please like, subscribe, and hit that notify button. And most of all, just enjoy what you what you drive. Classic cars are meant to be driven. Um, if you want to collect something that's that's uh, just to, as a showpiece, check out some wheels.